What is up guys and gals, Wreckabilly here. So I'd like to show you a little discovery that I found. Not sure if I'm the first one to see it or not, but either way, it is a great thing to know. Um, everyone knows about the spread players command, and if you don't know, then you should know. It's used in a lot of mini games, mainly uh, for for games like the Minecraft UHC. Uh, it basically spreads the players throughout the world into random locations. Um, it also has the ability to keep the teams together, so if everybody spread out, the teams will be spread out but stay together. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but with the new at E selector that came out for the 1.8 snapshots, I kind of wanted to test it out and see if we can use spread players with the at E attribute or selector. So let me go ahead and get some mobs here. I got. Let's just get some pigs and cows, why not? So. There we go. Some pigs, there's some cows. Awesome. Now, this command block is spreading the players, so spread players from the coordinate in the center of that platform. Um. 26, uh, 2, 7, that's just, um, I can actually set this to 9, I think, 7, 8, 9, yeah. So it's spreading them either 2 blocks away or 9 blocks away from the entire area, and it's just doing at E, the type equals not a player. So this false, that's just saying um, to keep the teams together. So right now, it should spread the players separately throughout this entire arena there we go random positions all over pretty cool now um what if i make it so the teams are true now this is where things get interesting apparently mobs are all on the same team even if i don't have a team specified for any of them and I did try setting a specific team, let's say I put pigs on a pink team and cows on a brown team. They were still put together, unfortunately. It'd be great if they weren't. Um, so that's just something to note. Now over here, spread players uh, false with the player. So at E, um, including the player, you can see right here it says type not player. This one just says at E. So I'm going to be spread with them they're going to be spread out and i'm going to be spread out there too so you can see we're all in random positions pretty cool let me do that again random positions now now <laughs> what if we set the teams back to true without um taking off the player so this is including me the player and teams equal true if i step here uh, it's kind of tough to see that one, but they all get put together and I am separated from them. Hmm, let me see if I can get a good example of this. There we go. So in order for me to get a good example, I had to kind of play with the coordinates. So I set this to 6-7 rather than 2-7. But if I stand over here, you can see they're all grouped up in that spot and I was over there by myself. Let's do it one more time. They're all grouped over there, but I'm right here. So apparently mobs and players, according to the game, are on separate teams, even though we are all considered entities. Now, some people might want to know, okay, well, if all of the peaceful mobs are on teams, what about the evil, angry, bad mobs, the monsters? Slash time set 17,000, just so that these zombies won't burn up well let's see if if they are all on the same team then they will all be put in the same spot and if they are not then they will be put in two different spots so looks like the same spot to me so unfortunately every single type of mob is on the same team now it would be really useful if they did implement this so that let's say like peaceful mobs versus um, angry mobs are, are on different teams that'd be really cool or if you can specify specific teams for them and 
then they can be spread out depending on which ones are on which team. That would be really awesome. So I just wanted to share this little discovery that I've got in here. Um, I hope you guys like this and hopefully it does get implemented into the game completely. That'd be really cool. Anyway guys, I'm all done here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.